Not only a leader in the development and manufacture of world-class, complete CNC machining centers, Anderson also engineers and builds individual, specialized, high-performance spindles for the machine tool industry, for both its own machines and a select group of other CNC manufacturers. Since the mid-1990s, Anderson's spindle department has gradually developed multiple types of spindles according to the demands of the various industries it serves. Anderson's spindles are widely used in milling, engraving, mold machining, 3C business glass grinding, PCB routing and woodworking applications and are all built to be high speed, high precision and highly stable. Along with its standard production spindles, Anderson also has the capability to develop customized spindles according to customers' requests, making Anderson a true first-class developer and builder of premium CNC spindles. Anderson's spindle manufacturing process involves several steps that allow for its final spindle products to meet the exacting specifications of its international clients. The first step in ensuring its spindles meet the demands of the industry is the Manufacturing Execution System, known as MES. MES is a database that controls every aspect of the building process of a spindle, including quality control, inspection results, and formation of service records. All the information gathered from the MES process is analyzed for improvements in future spindle builds. Through MES, the quality of each spindle component is ensured, inspection data is gathered, parts assembly is verified, damage to spindles is verified and corrected, improvements to designs are made, an electronic pedigree is built up, and the spindle's customer usage is tracked. The second critical step in the manufacturing of spindles is roundness measuring. Through this step in the process, the spindle dimensions are precisely measured to ensure that tolerances are met and a total indicator reading is formed, including concentricity, coaxialty, perpendicularity and surface measuring. The next two steps in the process involve parts balancing of the rotor to reduce vibration and extend spindle life and temperature measuring to regulate the temperature range of each spindle and control the assembly quality and lifespan of each spindle. The final step of the manufacturing and control process of each spindle is full speed balancing. This ensures that even at full speed, the spindle meets a vibration grade of less than G1. As you can see, Anderson's spindle manufacturing process involves multiple steps, ensuring the end user the most precisely designed and built spindles available, with the quality control to meet their demands in manufacturing.